Hello again, it's Dan here from RubbermanStudios.com. This is part two of a three-part series looking at the Door Reaper and in particular customizable toolbars and screen sets. Now, video one, I go through how to make your own customizable toolbar. This video, we're going to look at the screen sets and how to make them so you can flick between multiple ones like I have a recording setup and I have an editing setup. And the third video, I'm going to actually go through the individual buttons that I've created in the toolbars uh, to show you how I'm saving loads of time per session. So let's get straight into it. How do you make screen sets? Well, down the bottom, you'll notice I have a tab that says uh, screen sets. You may not have that from the start. I can't recall. So if you don't, clicking on view and screen sets layouts will give you the option. Now, uh, mine's already docked down the bottom. As I said, yours will probably be a floating window and you can right click that and manually insert it into the docker. You'll notice I have a default setup, a recording setup, an editing setup, and the load key is F1, F2, F3, etc. And the save key is Shift F1, as you can see. Continued. Now I've manually changed those somewhere along the lines. I don't recall what the default uh, what the default uh, keys were, but if you wanted to change your own, own even, uh, go up to Actions, Action List, and we'll type into the filter Screen Set. And again, you can click on whatever you like. So we might change that. You could add or remove the shortcut key and, and make it uh, swap them around until you have them the way you would like them. So that is the way I'd like them. Let's say you want to set up a, a particular screen set where you've got a drummer at the back of the room and he needs to see the clock and you also want the navigating uh, window up as well. So we go to view, we might put the navigator up first. There it is floating, don't want it floating. We can right click it and uh, put it in the docker. And there it is up the top there. Okay, and so we might do the same again for big clock. Big clock, don't want it there. Put it in the docker. Uh, we might drag that. Drag that up next to it. Okay, now it's not very big for a big clock. So this is how we want our screen set. We want it to be like this. Uh, you probably would never want it like this. But for example's sake, we now have a big clock and a navigator there so we can zip around our session. Okay, so you really, really like this setup and you think it's going to be handy for when you have someone over who needs to be able to see these things. Remember my save key was Shift and one of the F uh, buttons, so we're going to press Shift F4 and it's going to come up with the save window screen set. Uh, you can select which options and which variables you want to keep it there. I'm going to call this one Test and we're going to hit Save. Now, that's it. It's as simple as that. If I want to load that up, it's F4. You'll notice if I go back to my recording setup, F2, F3 to my editing, and F4 back to that ridiculous setup that I've made for this example. That is as simple as it gets. That is your screen sets. Now, again, you don't have to use that with customizable toolbars. You can use that with any of the layouts that you, uh, you think you might use on a regular basis. And you don't have to stop at F4. You can take it all the way up to F10 or, honestly, any other keyboard shortcut that you desire. I hope that was helpful. Check out number three and I'll walk you through my toolbars uh, that I've used and all the little actions I've created that save me loads of time. I hope you learned something. I hope it was informative. Dan here from Rubberman Studios and keep making music.